Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Night Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I'm an old guy, Gaming. Uh, so we're going to get started uh, in today's episode with finishing the... Uh, planting our first iteration of our garden. This will likely uh, get expanded, you know, as as we progress. But uh, we, we made a total of 70 crop plots to start with. And I started that process in the last episode, if you did, if you missed that. Um, so we're going to do this, and then we need to go out and do some salvaging because I am out of springs. Did I miscount? I probably did. No surprise there, right? This is... Um... Oh, you know what, though? We're not going to be able to plant stuff in there because of the fence. We should be okay on that side. All right, well, then what that means is we're going to pull this row back up. And I'll fill this back in with just dirt, dirt blocks. And we'll take this over here. Because even though I can get the crop plot in there, it, there isn't room for the crop to grow above it. Which there is down in this corner. Okay, so yeah, I'll just fill that back in with uh, some dirt or whatever. Alright, so we should have a total of 70 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it should be good. Are we good all the way along here? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, cool. Alright, so now let's go get all of the seed that we have. And I'll get some dirt blocks to fill in that row in behind there. Grab these. Uh, I added more storage here because uh, you want we're just continue to get stone like crazy. Uh, I got made it down to about 20 meters above bedrock in my dig around the pit in the base too, by the way. And we have four points to spend. I think we decided we're gonna just get intellect up to an effective 10. And uh, let's get grease monkey all the way maxed out so that we have the greatest chance of continuing to find um, engine magazines or vehicle magazines. And then we'll get advanced engineering maxed out. What does lock picking do for us? 60% faster, 30% lower chance to break lock picks. I might do that later, but you know, my philosophy with lock picking in this game is that lock picks are so cheap to make. Why not just make a stack of 50? And if you break more than normal, you break more than normal. Um, <laughs> Except for that one safe that we found in uh, in the hospital, I if you guys did not see that episode, I am not exaggerating. I broke thirty lockpicks break uh, trying to open a wall safe in the hospital two or three episodes back. I just couldn't believe it. It, it's, it was astounding. <laughs> never seen it. I've never you know uh, it's never taken me thirty lockpicks to open a lock in this game or a safe in this game. Anyway, uh, we might do that later. We'll see if if we get to a point where we just have points to burn kind of thing. But what we'll do is we'll we'll get advanced engineering maxed out, and that's really all I'm interested in. Or no, I take that back. No, we want to get daring adventurer maxed out, and we might and we might do better barter. But the thing is, is you know sales to the traders as we get into the end game is just not critical because we'll end up with a pile of money that I won't have anything to do with. Is the thing. So I don't know. We'll we'll see about that. That's another. We'll, we'll, you know, if we have points to burn, we'll do. But I do want to get during the adventure because once we get to four, we get two quest rewards and 20% more dukes um, and better items. So that is definitely worth getting. In fact, I probably, I should have put that in there before Grease Monkey, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so to recap, we'll finish Advanced Engineering, we'll finish Daring Adventure, and then we'll, we'll be done with Intellect. And then our focus is going to move to Fortitude and getting this maxed out so we can have maximum pain tolerance and maximum healing factor and maximum machine gunner. Then after that, we're kind of, it doesn't matter um, from that point forward. Okay, anyway, we came in here to get the seeds. Let's do that. So I'm going to grab uh, corn and potatoes are the most important things. And coffee is the third most important thing. We don't actually have a lot of coffee, do we? After that, um, 
pumpkins are good because we need that for pumpkin cheesecake for, for uh, the traders. Mushrooms are going to be good because we need that in spaghetti and some of the other high-end foods. Hops are important because we need beer to make things like learning elixir and, and you know that sort of thing. We've got lots and lots of medicals, so I wouldn't say aloe vera is critical. Um, yucca would be okay. Blueberry would be okay for blueberry pie. And we don't need goldenrod. Uh, well, I should... We'll see. You know, once we can get to the point where we're making mineral water, goldenrod is going to become more important. But that stuff is just so easy to go out and pick. Uh, that being said, though, goldenrod is not as abundant as chrysanthemum is. So, you know, it probably would be handy to plant that as well. Okay, so we filled that in. So let's get started with corn first. Okay, that's two full rows of corn. Potatoes are next. After that, we want coffee. Need that coffee for the mining buff. After that, we want pumpkin, for pumpkin cheesecake in particular. And then we wanted mushrooms. You know, um, I think I am going to need some more crop plots. The thing is, though, is after this initial planting, we're not necessarily going to have enough seeds to always replant the same because that's kind of a pain in the ass here in, um, in Alpha 21. If we look at living off the land, double the harvest. This all deals with harvest. It doesn't do anything at all to get us more seeds. What does this do? Best odds, best loot odds with living off the land. Okay, so I guess that's saying that if we have living off the land, which we do, we have it maxed, then we have a better chance of finding seeds? Or, uh, uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't know if it that improves our ability to make or craft seeds though like you know use less materials that sort of thing um okay well yeah we we're, I, i'm gonna want to expand this out further though uh, what time is it it's nine o'clock yeah um i think i have time to do that so let's uh how many more seeds do we have well i'm just gonna i'm actually just gonna dig this whole section out here Okay, I'll go ahead and leave this as is for like a little little path coming back here, I suppose. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, but we'll do it. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, and we have one. Oh, we got a screamer. Let's deal with the screamy. Well, it looks like maybe she got her scream off. Yep, all right. It's party time. Make sure she she's dead, right? Yeah, okay. It is my intention, after we get the horde base taken care of, to, um... In, improve the defenses around the space. In fact, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna create a whole entire wall, concrete wall, or maybe it'll be a maybe we'll make it a um which call it wall out of uh wait what's the matter with my brain this morning <laughs> the uh, the grates bars bars that's what I'm trying to think bars I like to use bars for walls because then you can shoot right through them you know um and so I'm going to completely tear down this entire wall and redo it with bars and extend the wall out a little further so that it's not up against the buildings, especially our house. And actually, now that I think about it in doing that, that's going to expand our garden area too. So yeah, uh, but that's our next building project after. Well, actually, we have two, two things we have to do. We have to finish the horde base and we have to get the command center uh, for Alpha 6 
all fixed up. And then at that point, that's when I'm going to start bringing more NPCs into our gameplay. Okay, anyway. How the hell did you get in here? Did they break a hole all the way through this fence over here? Huh. Uh, he may have spawned in here, actually. I'm not sure how else he would have gotten in here. Oh, well, I guess he could have come through the front gate, too, I suppose. So I did leave it open. All right, back to this. So we are um, one, two, three, four, and then we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Four times 13 is 26 times 2 is 52. Okay, so we need to make 52 more crop plots. Let's grab as much of this stuff as we have. We need nitrate. We need clay. And wood. Okay, so how many can we make? 83. So let's make 52 more. Yeah, um, I don't know if I finished my... Uh, m why we need to go salvaging, and that's because we need more grenades. Um, that, th those are the only grenades that I, I can make because we're out of springs, essentially. We've got everything else but butt springs. So we're going to do a little bit of salvaging. Let's get this stuff put back away here. Um, and actually, I'm gonna ha we're going to have to take care of the rest of these seeds later, too. We're, we're not going to have time otherwise. So I'm going to get some stuff uh, put away, and then we're going to go do a little bit of salvaging, come back to the base, get a few more nades made, and then we got to get ready for the Horde Night, which we're going to spend tonight in the Crack a Book bookstore, and we also have a quest for it, too. Um... If you happen to be watching me for the first time, I don't normally spend Horde Nights in POIs. I fight the Horde with a base, but I'm in the process of building a very large Horde base in the game Horde base, and it's just not done yet. So in the meantime, we are trying to survive the Horde in, like, Tier 5 buildings. Uh, okay, so see, those are food items. Let's go put those away. Speaking of food, we got five shepherd pies and seven sham chowder, so we're in great shape there. I do have nine hackers that we'll use when we go do the salvaging. And, of course, we have our impact driver for that as well. Okay, so I think it's 1030. So why don't we... Um, why don't we go do some salvaging until around noonish? And then we gotta. Hmm. That doesn't give us a ton of time, does it? Got 26 grenades. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't think we have enough time to go salvage, come back, wait for grenades to be made, and then go get ready. I think we need to go now. Um, and it uh, put put it this way. Let's go start the bookstore. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go start the bookstore. I think that's our safest move. So I got two stacks of first... Well, actually, three stacks of first aid kits. We got four bites. Those are really important. Can we make four bites? We can make four bites. But again, we need beer. Beer is used for a lot of the, you know, the, the meds and kims and stuff. We need vitamins and blood bags for that, too. Five blood bags? Are you shitting me? Wow, that's expensive. There's no way to... Do we still have a blood draw kit in this game? I don't think we do anymore. We used to. I wonder if it's in the creative menu. Nope, I don't see it. We used to have a blood draw kit where we could... We could draw our own blood uh, for blood bags. And then it would take some of your health away. So you could, you know, you could only do it a few times. But apparently they removed that mechanic from the game. That sucks. That really sucks because... Yeah, it just sucks. Um, some of the decisions the fun pimps make for this game just are fucking stupid. <laughs> just going to throw that out there. Yeah, I know. It's their game they can do with what they want, and I respect that. 
at the same time, I don't understand it, and some of it is fucking stupid. That being one of them, in my opinion. There's no reason to remove that from the game. Players can use it if they want to, or they don't have to. But why take it out of the game? It just... Ugh. Okay, I'll get off... Uh, you know, I'll get off that soapbox there. No more ranting about that. We love the game. We love the fun pimps. Uh, okay, so... Ammo. We need ammo. Let's see. Let's grab a couple stacks... Uh, a couple more stacks of magnums. Um, we don't yet use the 7.62 weapon except for the sniper rifle so we really only need one stack of those but we do use nine mils like crazy uh, so we'll have plenty of nine millimeter ammo with us um, we use the shotgun on occasion so we'll take two full stacks of shoddy shells and uh, we have we practically have a full stack of crossbow bolts so we're good to go there and oh you know what um how long does it take to make landmines? Do I even... Where do I make those at? Hubcap. Yeah, we do make that in there. Only takes 14 minutes. Hey, let's make some of these as well. Because I want to start utilizing landmines. Uh, so we need iron. We need gunpowder. Nails and... Uh, duct tape, which I don't have duct tape, but I have lots of glue. I I want to actually go fetch some of these, you know, from some of the forts. But I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Always busy, which is a good thing. Um, we should we should crank out a few more nails too. Not four thousand and five hundred nails. Let's do. 200 nails. Let me get back to continuing to make steel there. We are accumulating a very nice quantity of steel, by the way. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine full stacks and working on the tenth stack. But that's going to be used up uh, when we build the horde base. Okay, so we got those. We're just waiting on these nails here. That's good enough. Okay, let's make 25 of those. Switch places with the farm plots. Oh. We were making... Fit. Yeah, 32, exactly. Okay, so I'm going to wait for the five minutes for those landmines to finish. I want to bring them with us, and then we will uh, set out and get started with the Cracker Bookstore. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, we are here at the bookstore. Um, so, yeah, oh, nice. We got, a, we got a heist uh, magazine. No stamina. Use well sneak sprinting, nice. Uh, how are we doing on that, by the way? The great heist. We still need to do twenty percent more damage to land claim property, which is bullshit. It's not bullshit. I mean, it just doesn't apply to us because it's PvP only. And sneak past motion detection device is also not applicable. But the end of this is really good. Find 20% more lockpicks and loot. Break into locks 20% faster and have a 10% lower chance to break your lockpick. So that one is definitely worth getting. So yeah, those two, two more magazines to do that. Let's just do a quick run around and see if um, there's anything else here to pre-loot. I, I have not... I don't think... I have been in the crack of book since it's been redone. I'm not a hundred percent positive about that though. Is this this is a different structure, isn't it? Yeah. Just see what's in here real quick. No, I don't want that stuff. I m I may have, but I don't remember. So there's a mountain lion right there. that stuff in there um we probably will not be coming back to the bike because we only have two slots anyways 
Uh, but we do have, of course, the, the large, much larger backpack inventory now. And I think we're ready to go. Okay. Oh, what is this? Cement? Yeah, we, we're making cement. We don't need to get that. Tier 5 clear. This is probably not part of the property. Nope. It isn't. Is that something we can take apart? It's got to go. Well, it should go. No, it's just considered a block. Okay. Well, we'll make, we'll take that apart. I'm not really planning on salvaging uh, while we're in there, so we're going to leave the impact driver here. And that we don't really need. Okay, so uh, the quest wants us to start by going up this ladder, and that means that this ladder and scaffolding business needs to go. How strong is it? And we really only need to take the ladder itself out. That should be good enough. And yeah, we got up on the wrong side there. <laughs> okay, let's try this again from here. There we go. And I think it wants us to... Oh, you know what? I have done this bookstore. Yeah, I have done this bookstore. I think they actually changed it in Alpha 20, not Alpha 21. So we're good. Um... That's right. I do remember doing it now. I guess that's still considered metal in Alpha 20. Well, that's wood. I'm just removing these for extra good measure here. All right. So, yes, we jump to there. Oh, hold on. To there and to this. To get to that ladder. All right, I'm gonna at least do that. Oh, there you go. That was smart. Guess we come over this way, right? I've only done the new bookstore, I think, once, though, so I'm not uh, real familiar with it. Yeah, I think we go in here. All right, let's make sure everybody's loaded. I think this is a trigger situation, like, as soon as we open the door... They're going to come or something like that. So let's be ready to go. There. Okay, it didn't actually wake them up, though. That's good. But... Not a... S oh, okay. There are a bunch of them around the roof. Hmm. I wonder if... Man, that's a lot of red dots. <laughs> it's a crap ton of red dots. Oh, boy. Um. Yeah, there's a guy in there. Can we do this? No, because that's a door. I mean, we could continue hitting on it, but... The problem with shooting the zombies on the roof is if we break the glass underneath them, then they're going to fall, and that's going to wake them up and probably everybody else, too. Um, okay. Let's just see. We can at least eliminate some of these down below before we get the whole bunch of them. Let's 
just kill this guy as quietly as possible. Okay, that went pretty well. Good headshot there. If he's not feral, though, we should still be able to kill him. Okay. There's probably one behind the desk there. Hmm. No? Okay. Nobody behind this desk. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm... I'm gonna do... Very minimal looting. What I want to do is I want to get... Um... Let's stay crouched. I want to get this first area cleared. And then I want to make sure that there's no pathway up here from down below that the horde can take. That's our priority. Then we'll worry about, you know, doing the rest of the POI. Let's go, let's go back out this way. You're just a normal. So far, so good. Let's go back. Uh, I don't see any red dots in that direction, so I think we're okay. Now, what we might be able to do, at least for that guy, is... See, we're not going to make him fall through the floor. Beautiful. So we could potentially do the same thing for the cop. Nice. Um, all right. Yeah, we can get jiggly from here. Our stealth meter's going back down. Okay, so we eliminated a few of those guys. Um, get our crossbow bolt back. This guy we could do from here. Excellent. Okay. We might even be able to take out Biker Billy from here. Alright, so we just woke up one guy over here. Alright, so far so good. The last time I came in this place, it, it just all went to hell as soon as I stepped in this room, but I wasn't, I didn't have a stealth build though either. So, um, okay. Let's see here. Uh, I want to do this systematically. So we got a guy in here. All right. So we woke up a bunch from, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, we did pretty good, I think, but now the shit's hit the fan.
Okay. I think we've cleared this first area. Let's just run around real quick and see if we wake anybody else up. All right, so um, we came in through there. I know that there's a passageway through these elevators. I remember, right? But there isn't a stairwell going down. What is this? This is just a bathroom, right? Okay. This something I think we might need to deal with. Well, no, not really. Yeah, we don't need to worry about anything coming up here from down there. Okay, so that part's secure. That's just an office. Just an office. This is like the little conference room with their Mo Power uh, projector, which is cool. Just an office, just an office. Whoa. All right, I want to look in... Oh, shit, 10,000 hit points. All right, well, let's go upstairs then. Uh, or I guess what we could do is just... Yeah, let's just break through this way. Well... This is the same. I'm going to have to hit break 10,000 points worth of blocks if I do the blocks separately, so I might as well just break this. Okay, yeah, so... So what I want to do is I want to break this ladder. And uh, that actually woke up some Zika Ruskies. And let's also break this too, just for good measure. So there's not really any possible way for them to get up here. I'm going to repair this. Alright, let's actually jump down here for a second. Gracious. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Let's get a couple nades ready here. I saw a lot of Zika Roos down there, but they're not coming into this little room here. Okay, well, we don't have to kill those guys right this moment. So let's just um, let them do their thing. I just want to be 100% confident that there is no other way for the Horde to get up here. Then we'll worry about them later. I mean, I guess it stands to reason that if the zombies that are down on that floor had a way to get up to me, they would, but you can't rely upon that 100%, though, because their pathing is a bit unpredictable. Sometimes they just get stuck and derp out. The uh, the Blood Moon Horde... Oh, yeah, there's no way, to, <laughs> no way they're getting up on this side. Um, you know, the Blood Moon Horde's pathing, I think, is a little smarter, I guess, for lack of a better way of saying it. If we're getting to us. Okay, I think I'm reasonably confident that, that they can't get to us. So, let's see. It's 18. We still have some time before the Horde itself actually starts. Um... Let's see if we can do something with this. We didn't kill him. I didn't figure we would. He's tough. 
Let's soften them up. Alright, let's get this repaired. That's our main weapon. We don't want to take any chances of it running out. And we're going to go down there and eliminate these guys. Because if we don't, um, they're just going to cause bad frame rate for us. Can't believe you weren't more softened up than that, man. Okay. Since we're on this floor, even I know we're doing this out of order, but you know why. Uh, let's go ahead and just do it. Um, so we'll go through here. Nothing in this office. Did I reload that? Yes, I did. Okay. That's also not obtainable from down below, which is good. There's a ladder out there. Oh, that's the ladder we climbed up. Nope, not interested in that stuff. And I guess that does it for this floor. All right, so for... Must not have gone in here. Um, I'll take that. Well, actually, I'll take all of it. And if we run out of room, we can start throwing some of that out. Another shotgun book. And we'll take both of those, too. Oh. Woke up a whole bunch more down below. Um, there's a bunch of books down there, though, that I don't want to... Yeah, missed. That didn't miss. <laughs> that biker, irradiated biker, I want to eliminate as soon as possible. In fact, it looks like, well, there's two red dots left. Got it. Okay. And then we got a irradiated Steve. I think we can jump down here. He's dead. Okay. So let's quickly loot this floor. Now we don't need to worry about the elevator shafts there. Is there anything back here? Nope. That goes into the basement. Okay. We might see if we can go down there. If we, if I feel like we have time, but that, there's a big fight down there, for sure. 
seven, uh, five more to go on the workstation books, and then we're maxed out on that. Uh, yeah, we're doing that. Sure. Bow book. 67 out of 100. Wow, there's a lot of books. Okay, here's a vehicle. 54 out of 100. That's, yeah, right, that was the basement. Here, let's actually keep that door closed. Uh, let's go in here. Cornmeal, water, potatoes, stuff we don't care about. Uh, yeah, we'll take both of those. And uh, corn's good. We have a skill point. Um, I'm going to put that skill point into Daring Adventurer. Cool. So now we can pick two options. See what's in here. Tuna. Nice. Okay, so that takes care of the ground floor and the second floor and the third floor. So we'll work on. I don't think I'm going to go in the basement because I don't think we have time to go down there. Wake everybody up, get them all killed before the horde starts. And I don't want them to be active because they're going to just add to the frame rate, which is going to suck. Uh, 30 out of 100 for rifles. Did we get all the books? I think so. Our bucks. That's funny. Okay, let's go back up. Well, here, before we do that, let's go outside real quick. Not that we can put a whole lot of stuff in our bike, but we can put at least one or two more things in there. Well, one more thing. Um, I don't actually want that cement at all. Under the circumstances, I don't want rotting flesh or stone. And not really, we don't need iron, uh, and we don't need this either. Okay. We really don't need golden rod either, but whatever, we'll put it in there. Okay, cool. Let's get our blocks from here. And we're just going to pull back up. Up from inside this way. And I don't think we need to worry about the horde getting up to us. Um, there's always the possibility they could bring the building down, but I think that's going to be pretty unlikely. So we have, um, we should have two done, right? I've already been through all of these rooms. Let me just take one more quick look-see. And we, see, we didn't care about that. Okay. Let's go back up now. So this is where we started, but I didn't actually loot. So let's loot this floor before we move up. Nice armor. We're 55 out of 75 on the armor. Vehicles. 55 out of 100. Oh, look at that.
Don't start this bullshit again. Okay. Um, actually, these matter now because we have more slots we can unlock. That will... What's that worth? Yeah, I'm I'm actually just starting to consume those for the XP just because it's more convenient. You have a triple. You have a triple. You have a double, so we could put it on there. You have a double, and you have a triple. Okay, so let's put it on our gloves. Cool. So that opened up some other, uh, opened us up another slot. Words. It goes down in there. Rifles. No, we didn't loot that. Okay, good. Didn't actually want that, but whatever. Throw it out later. Pops, we want those. That's worth fixing up and selling. And I think that's it for floor three. Okay. Let's head on up here. Uh, Wait, is this... We supposed to go this way? I don't think we're supposed to go this way. Uh oh, we go this way. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh have we already been up here? I don't remember. So we might have another rush of Zikaruskis. Let's get ready. Oh, yep, yeah, there's red dots. Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to put these on. I very much missed having these in the last horde night. That hospital got super dark. We'll loot later. Let's get the Zeeks out of the way first. Because as soon as the horde comes, our frames are going to tank anyways. We don't have a lot of time, but it is what it is. He doesn't know we're here. That's some beautiful stealth action there, ladies and gentlemen. He did thump us once, though, but he obviously didn't recognize us until he was standing right in front of us. Are you a normal? Yeah, you're a normal. Okay, let's back up over here. I want to get these guys killed because our frames are going to go bad. Oh shit, he's right there. Okay, who's coming? There's some dudes in the stairwell and some dudes in the office. My frames are really bad now. <laughs> Alright, I don't see any red dots, so I think we've cleared this floor. So let's loot it. And then probably, guys, what I'm going to do, because of the frame rate, is I'm probably just going to sit tight. I'll keep the camera rolling. 
in case something crazy happens. But I just it's very hard to do anything with the frames so bad, you know. I mean if we Yeah, we're at fifteen frames per second right now, which is terrible. But let's loot first. And we can actually put our light back on now because we're not we don't need to be stealthy. Take those off. We are wearing our nerdies. Okay. Shoddy Messiah book. You can craft shotgun slugs. I didn't know we... I, I, I was thinking we had finished shotgun messiah, but apparently not. We have one book left. Shotguns degrade to 20% slower. And then you can one-shot most wood blocks and bulk craft shotgun ammo. That's not that useful, if you ask me. I mean, it's useful. It's not completely useless, but they could have come up with something a little better than that, in my opinion. But, whatever. There we go. Just paper. Just paper, that's all we got. Yeah, we don't care about upstairs. We still want anything coming from downstairs. Close that door anyway. Let's go into the bathroom here. Oh, look at that. A little underground. I vaguely remember this actually from before. Huh. Okay. Let's break this out. Nice loot room. Wiring? Nope, don't care about the nails. I guess that's all that's in here. Go in here next. Uh, we'll take that and, well, I guess I'll take the pipes for now. Nope. Don't care about that. And doesn't appear to be anything else in the conference room. Did we already loot here? No, we haven't. Take the coffee. Ravioli, nice. We use that for spaghetti. I think that's it. And we're back to the stairs. Okay, so we've completely uh, done this floor. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to semi-AFK here. And uh, like I said, I will keep the recorder running. And if something crazy happens, I will bring you back to show you that. If nothing crazy happens, I will meet you here in the morning and we will proceed.